there's a revolution going on in agriculture with digital. And this revolution comes at a critical time when population and demand growth are driving crop demand nearly 50% higher by 2050. But from our experience, a lot of the developing economies will fall short of full potential because of long-standing issues on the way governments look at this sector. Uh, first, there is uh, a lack of an integrated long-term agro-industrial strategy. And also, second, um, there is a less than desirable coordination among a plethora of stakeholders. In that sense, digital can help these governments by enabling them to have a better understanding of future potential outcomes under different scenarios. For example, with the removal of infrastructure bottlenecks or with the uh, full potential integration into the downstream agro-industrial chain. For example, in a country where we worked, it became very clear through the use of advanced analytics that for a specific part of the territory, it was much better to focus on cocoa production rather than bananas because cocoa with a longer industrial chain delivered a lot more GDP to the country than bananas. To that end, it is vital to use these better insights to drive more convergence among stakeholders on the best investments, actions, policies to drive and advance in agriculture activity. And why do that? Because what we've seen very consistently is that countries can more than double agro-industrial GDP in just 10 to 15 years, and that's a very good target to have. 